Hi everyone, this video is about Nepic Spider 3.5 update. We got three big changes for you and a several little ones. As always, I'll tell you how to configure these features in our crawler and how to get the most profit of them. Stay tuned. The first feature will be useful for specialists that works with multi-language websites. If you deal with a lot of hreflangs, I'm sure you have some kind of headache. Even John Mueller told us that hreflangs is one of the most complex aspects of SEO. So, starting from Netpeak Spider 3.5 update, we want to make it a little bit easier for you. So, we implemented hreflangs analysis. To turn it on, go to the settings, advanced tab, and tick on hreflang checkbox. When you tick it on, we will crawl all the links from hreflangs tags and include them to the main table. Even if they point to external website or some kind of subdomain and on the general tab of the settings you turned off these options, option in advanced tab will still be the major one and crawl and will make Nepic Spider crawl these links. So click on we turn it on, click on OK. And as an example, I will take an apple.com website because they have a lot of hreflangs. Uh, what, what should we do next? Go to the parameters tab of the sidebar and turn on hreflangs uh, parameters in the head tags group. So it will be hreflang language code and hreflang links. We will collect all these data from the web pages and add them to the table as, you, as we usually do. Uh, based on this data, we will find nine new issues. For example, uh, hreflang inconsistent language code in confirmation URL, which means that uh, the source URL pointing to some kind of another language page with, with specific language code. If this specific code doesn't match the language code of the target page, we'll show you this issue. And, like, eight more of them. Also, you will be able to open the internal table with the data about the hreflangs. Here you will see the data about each page, I mean like 222 hreflang links from apple.com slash it at slash uh, with different language codes. We check either the hreflang is compliant or not and show you a lot of issues that can be found here. Based on this data, we also make some kind of reports for you. First of them will be on the dashboard, hreflangs diagram that shows you how many pages has correct hreflangs, how many of them uh, has some kind of issues and how many of them uh, has no hreflang link. Then uh, also on the overview tab, you will be able to find all hreflang codes that we have found on the website. Like on apple.com website, we have found 90 different hreflang codes and you will be able to see all of them here. And if you want to go deeper, just click on any of them. And if you want to export this data in different tables, go to the special issue reports and here you will find seven new reports uh, based on hreflang issues. And if you just want to get all the data at once uh, without any specific issues and so on, you can export extra large reports from database, all hreflang URLs and hreflang summary. Uh, I hope it will help you to deal better with hreflangs because it's kind of complicated, complex question, I understand it and we hope Netpeak Spider 3.5 will help you to do so. Next feature that I like the most is multi-domain crawling. Previously, if you wanted to crawl several different websites, you could open different windows of Netpeak Spider or crawl them one by one, but it took time actually to perform these tasks. Starting from Netpeak Spider 3.5, all users that have pro plan uh, will be able to crawl a lot of domains inside of the one project. How it actually works? You add several domains, like I did here, it was like 24 different domains, and then go to the settings, general tab, 
enable multi-domain crawling. And that big spider will crawl all the domains that you have added from clipboard or from different files or just enter it manually, it doesn't matter. It will crawl it to the deepest parts of them. For example, here it was 24 domains that I crawled and I got 800,000 domains, or 800,000 pages. How it can be actually used? For example, you want to find all the broken links on trusted domains and will further contact webmasters to replace these broken pages, broken links, to from broken pages, pointing to broken pages, uh, to pointing to your relevant pages on your website. Or maybe you want to look for some kind of drop domains uh, from these resources. It doesn't matter. You can find all the external links from these websites, then export them to the big checker and find out uh, when their registration is expiring. Or if you're looking for contact details, sometimes it's difficult task to go through the, each website to find all the contact details. So starting from now, you can crawl all of these pages in the big spider, then transfer them to the NetPick checker and use contact details finder there to get all the emails and phone numbers. Multi-domain crawling is a really pro feature because not everyone will use it. We understand it. That's why we add it to the pro plan of the NetPick spider. Uh, hope you will enjoy this feature and don't forget to maybe share your use cases with us in comments below. Uh, we'll be very happy. And the third feature is integration with Yandex Metrica. It's a very popular analytics system for websites in post-Soviet countries. And a lot of our users asked us to implement this integration. That's why here we go. Uh, enjoy this feature. Uh, it works pretty much the same as Google Analytics integration. You go to the Yandex Metrica tab, add your Yandex account, set necessary uh, site that you want to get data for, use necessary segment for necessary data range. And here is one advantage of Yandex Metrica. It doesn't have sampling of data. So you can get the information about the visitors, conversions and so on for any period of time without any sampling. And also you can configure a necessary device. If you're from Ukraine or from other country that has uh, blocked Yandex services, you can use proxies just tick on this checkbox and we will use connection with Yandex using the proxy, set it on the proxy tab of the settings. Then click on OK, go to the parameters tab on the sidebar, switch on necessary parameters and at the end of the crawling, NetPeak Spider will request all the necessary data from Yandex Metrica and add it to the table. Based on this data, we can find three issues. First one is Yandex Metrica max bounce rate, then Yandex Metrica compliant pages without traffic, and one more is warning Yandex Metrica uncompliant pages with traffic. So it's pretty much the same as Google Analytics, and also we have added some diagrams on the dashboard tab. You will be able to find compliant or, uncompl or non-compliant pages with or without traffic. And the same on the overview tab, you can find all the pages that got traffic or didn't got traffic. That's pretty much easy. And also these uh, diagrams uh, have been added to the PDF report, so you can check them out. Uh, some uh, things that, why we actually added to the NetPeak Spider, because sometimes SEO specialists got too much of technical information and they forgot to connect all this data with the real with the real information about the user's behavior about the how many traffic they got about for this page and so on so starting from netpeak spider 3.5 you're able to enrich your technical data with real analytics information so we got three big features it's hreflang analysis multi-domain crawling and integration with yandex metrica and let's quickly run through the small changes uh, in Netpeak Spider 3.5. The first one, we have added compliance parameter uh, in crawling and indexing group. Previously, you could see 
filters, compliant or non-compliant pages. And when you wanted to export all this data, you got a little problem that you couldn't filter the results based on this criteria uh, in the external table. That's why we have added this parameter and we use it to find new issues. First one is compliant URLs with query string in URL. The reason why we have added this issue is because a lot of websites creates a lot of duplicate pages because of the because of their system. I mean, these pages are dynamic, but they are almost the same as the regular one, and it's a lot of duplicates in uh, search results, and it's very popular issue. That's why you can check all these problems on your website using Netpeak Spider. Then we got canonical uh, pointing, non-compliant canonical URL. Previously, we got an issue called canonical blocked by robots.txt but it didn't cover all the problems that could be with canonical URL. That's why we have changed the logic of this issue. And now we will show you this error when, you, when URL in canonical tag points to a non-compliant page. It means that this page could be 404 or blocked by MetaRobots or any other reason that could possibly prevent it from being indexed and shown in SERPs. So, uh, new issue, non-compliant canonical URLs, hope you will enjoy it. And the last new issue calls canonical points to another host. We understand that it's not really an issue, a lot of people use it uh, and it's fine, but sometimes you could uh, do it by mistake and you didn't want to do it, so uh, don't forget to check it in a big spider if you got any canonicals pointing to another host. Uh, double check if everything is fine. If something goes wrong, don't forget to fix it. That's pretty much the same about Netpeak Spider 3.5 update. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, write comments below, subscribe to our channel, thumbs up, and I wish you guys a lot of traffic and a good day. Bye bye.